Hi everyone, welcome to my very first video of who wants to be a mathematician? Yay! All right, so hopefully I'll be posting a series of videos based on who wants to be a mathematician. So let's start off with question number one. Question one, x plus four equals eight. The possible answers are a is equal to four, b equals to seven, c equals to six, d equals to five. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to answer this question. So the correct answer is A, of course, four. Okay, question one was relatively straightforward. Uh, so you need to undo the equation. So you're gonna minus four from both sides. Eight minus four gives us four. X is equal to four. We can always double check our answer, whether it's correct or not, by putting it back into the equation. So it'll be four plus four equals eight. And that's our final answer. Find the value of X. 2x plus 6 equals 16. Again, the four possible answers are A, 6B, 7, C, 8, D, 5. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds to answer this question. Yep, so the correct answer is D, 5. Question two, find the value of x. Again, uh, we need to undo the equation. By undoing, we need to do the inverse operation. So again, I'm gonna minus six, to cancel it down. Six minus six gives us zero. So that cancels it down. So whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the other side of the equation to just to balance, balance it out. 16 minus six gives us 10. So we have two x equals to 10. What do you multiply two by to give us 10? Five, so x equals to five. And that's our final answer. Uh, question three, expand three open brackets, two X minus four, close brackets. Again, the possible answers are A equals six X plus 24, B six X minus 24, C six X minus 12, D four X plus 12. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, let's see, another 10 seconds starting now. Well, the correct answer is C, 6x minus 12. That is the correct answer. Expand the brackets. You're going to multiply the first time outside the bracket with the first time in the bracket. So it's 3 times 2x, which is 6x. And then you're going to multiply the first time outside the bracket with the first second term inside the bracket. So it's 3 times minus 4 gives us minus 12. So our final answer is 6x minus 12. Oops, there you go. That's our final answer. Question four, find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of 20 and 24. Again, four possible answers are, A, highest common factor equals six, lowest common multiple equals 124. B, highest common factor equals four, lowest common multiple equals 120. C, highest common factor equals eight, lowest, multi lowest common multiple equals 110. D, highest common factor equals 10, lowest common multiple equals 122. Now I'm gonna give you around 15 seconds see if you can answer this question. The correct answer is B. Find the highest common factor and lowest common multiples of 20 and 24. First of all, we need to break it down to find its prime factors. To do that, we're going to use prime decomposition. So 20, and break it down to 2, 10, uh, 5, and 2. So this is a prime number, prime number, prime number. Do the same thing of to 24, break it down. 2, 12, 2, 6, 3, 2, we have 3, 2, 2, 2. So 20 is equal to 
2 times 2 times 5. 24 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Put it in the Venn diagram. So the common prime factors go in the middle. We have 2 over here. Let me label it first. And another 2 over here, which is 2 over here at 5. 2 and 3. To find the highest common factor, what we need to do is multiply two numbers in the middle. So highest common factor is equal to 2 times 2 equals 4. The lowest common multiple is multiply all the numbers in the Venn diagram. 5 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which equals to 120. Question 5. Find the gradient of the line that passes through 2, 1 and 5, 10. Again, the four possible answers are A equals 6, B equals 4, C equals 8, and D equals 3. Can he give you 20 seconds, this is a tough one, to answer this question. The correct answer is D, 3. Question 5, find the gradient of the line that passes through 2 and 1 and 5 and 10. Uh, to find the gradient, what we need to do is first of all uh, label the coordinates. This is x1, y1, and we have 5, 10, and this is x2 y2, we're going to be using this equation, gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we have 10 minus 1 over 5 minus 2, 9 over 3, therefore the gradient is equal to 3. Question six is expand and simplify open brackets x plus two close brackets open brackets x plus four close brackets open brackets x plus one close brackets. Again, again the four possible answers are a equals three cubed plus eight x squared plus twelve x plus eight. B equals x cubed plus two x squared plus eight x plus four. C equals x cubed plus 9x squared plus 10x plus 6. D equals x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. Now, this is a bit of a, a tedious question when you work it out, so I'm going to give you 30 seconds. answer is D. x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. That's the correct answer. Expand and simplify x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 1. First of all, I'm just going to expand these two brackets. Uh, so x, yep, so x times x gives x squared, x times 4 gives us 4x, 2 times x gives us 2x, 2 times 4, which gives us 8. I'm going to simplify it further. So x squared plus uh, 6x plus 8. And then I'm going to bring the third bracket down and I'm going to expand it. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times 6x gives us 6x squared. x times 8 gives us 8x. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 6x gives us 6x. 1 times 8 gives us 8. Let me simplify it further. x cubed plus 7x plus 
14x plus 8. Sorry, so it's x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 8. And that's our final answer. Question 7. Factorize x squared minus 2x minus 15. Again, the four possible answers are a equals open brackets x minus 5 close brackets open brackets x plus 3 close bracket b equals open brackets x minus 5 close brackets open brackets x plus 1 close brackets c equals open brackets x minus 2 close brackets open brackets x plus 4 close brackets d equals open brackets x minus 4 close brackets open brackets x plus 3 close brackets. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer this question, starting now. Yep, the correct answer is A. Open brackets, X minus five, close brackets, open brackets, X plus three, close brackets. Factorize X squared minus two X minus 15. Again, two numbers that you multiply together that gives us minus 15, but also adds up to negative two. So I'm gonna put my brackets in my X, gonna sort, sort the signs up. So it's gonna be minus and a positive over here. And what we should have is 5 and 3. Because minus 5 times positive 3 gives us minus 15. Minus 5 plus 3 gives us minus 2. And that's our final answer. Question 8. Expand and simplify. Open brackets 2 plus square root 5. Close brackets. Open brackets 2 minus the square root of 5. Close brackets. Again, the four possible answers, A equals 2, B equals to minus 2, C equals to minus 1, and D equals to minus 4. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, see if you can answer this question. Well, the correct answer is C minus one. Question eight, expand and simplify two plus root five, two minus root five. Again, I'm just gonna expand it like, uh, like I would do normally with a double bracket. So two times two is four. Two times minus root five is minus two root five. Root five times it by two gives us positive two root five and root five times minus root five gives us mi a minus five. I'm just gonna simplify it further. So we have minus two root five plus two root five gives us zero, it cancels out. So what we're left with is four minus five, which equals to minus one, and that's our final answer. Question nine, write x squared minus six x plus one in the form of open brackets x plus a close brackets raised to the power of two plus b where a and b are integers. Again, so the four possible answers are a equals open brackets x minus two close brackets raised to the power of two minus four, b equals open brackets x minus three close brackets raised to the power of two minus eight, c equals open brackets x minus five close brackets raised to the power of two minus two, d equals open brackets x minus six close brackets raised to the power of two minus seven. 30 seconds to answer this question. Starting now. The correct answer is B. 
open brackets, x minus 3, close brackets, raised to the power of 2, minus 8. Write x squared minus 6x plus 1 in the form of open brackets, x plus a, close brackets, raised to the power of 2, plus b, where a and b are integers. What we need to do is complete the square. So it's x squared, let me just write it out, x plus 1 equals 0. I'm going to minus 1 from both sides. So what we're left with is 6x plus a particular number, minus 1. To find this value, what we need to do is mi divide minus 6 by 2 and then square it. Minus 6 divided by 2 is uh, minus 3. Minus 3 squared is 9. This gives us a complete square. So I'm going to plus 9 on both sides. And then this complete square can be factorized as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 equals 8. I'm going to bring, I'm going to minus 8 from both sides. And what we're left with is x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 8 equals 0. And that's the final answer. Question 10. Solve the simultaneous equation x squared plus y squared equals 13. x equals y minus 5. Again, the four possible answers are a equals x equals minus 2 and y equals 3. y equals 2 and x equals minus 3. b equals x equals minus 1 and y equals 2 y equals to 5 and x equals to minus 2 c equals x equals to minus 4 and y equals 7 y equals to 4 and x equals to minus 3 d equals x equals to minus 7 and y equals to 7 y equals to 3 and x equals to minus 2 i'm going to give you a minute to answer this question which is toughest question out of the entire quiz. Correct answer is A. So, how well did you do? So that's the end of the quiz. I'm, I'm going to go through the working out as the questions as each as I go through each of the questions. So, I'm hoping you've done well. Solve the simultaneous equation x squared plus y squared equals 13. X equals y minus 5. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute this equation into this equation. So what we should have is y minus 5 raised to the power of 2 plus y squared equals 13. I'm going to expand this so it's y squared minus 10y plus 25 plus y equals 13. I'm going to collect like for like terms 2y squared minus 10y plus 12 equals 0. I'm going to divide everything by 2. And then I'm going to factorize it. So two numbers that you multiply together that gives us positive 6 but adds up to minus 5. We have 3 and 2. Therefore, the values of y is equal to 3 and 2. To find the value of x when, so let y equals 3, we can find the value of x by substituting 3 into this equation. So x is equal to 3 minus 5, x is equal to minus 2. And on this side, we're going to let 
y equals to 2, substituting that equation, so 2 minus 5, x is equal to minus 3. So what we have is minus 2 and 3 and minus 3 and 2. So th these are our final point, uh, final answer.